Hello friends with AWS tricks and tweaks so in last video we have learned how to upload a static content on S3 and how you can use that uh, bucket as a website okay but in this tutorial we are gonna learn how to access that website with with SSL that means HTTPS secure with a secure pro protocol to achieve this one we need to follow some steps first thing is that uh, it's like a three four step process first is you should know route 53 in that route 53 let's let's go follow the steps one by one okay go to services go to route 53 53 first thing you should uh, have registered domain means you can you you can create register your domain here in a with aws or you can uh, you you can have a domain on um, godaddy as well okay <clears throat> so so if you have domain here that's that's also good if if you do domain register on godaddy that that is also good so whatever domain name you have registered okay so if i'm i'm going in my domains so i have a domain registered uh, name registered here okay so, okay and so i'm going to use that domain for routing the traffic to s3 the first thing you have to create create a hosted zone the hosted zone name must be same as the domain name you can create a host uh, do, means whatever domain name you have registered here must be the same name you should specify here uh you can give the any comment and how you want to access that domain it's like you want to access the publicly or privately your it is up to you and you have to create so i already created a my hosted zone so the whatever the, the make sure i'm emphasizing again and again the, your domain name means the created hosted zone name must be same with the domain name whatever domain name you have registered otherwise it is not gonna work okay so after you create the hosted zone so first thing is that the aws provides the name servers associated with that whole uh, hosted zones so you have to copy this all the four names one by one and paste it here so in dns configuration dns uh, let me go it again there my products so in dns configuration so you have to mention instead of default you have to select custom and copy paste all this dns name automatically generated by aws you have to copy paste all this dns name to the godaddy dns name or uh, your registered domain name here also okay you can go and uh, edit here and add whatever domain names you have uh, uh, name servers you have, you have got from the hosted zones you have to copy paste there okay this is first step okay second step is how to create a certificate so you can go to certificate manager and you have to request a certificate okay request certificate so you have to give the exact name domain name you have registered 
okay what your domain name we have registered just put the name suppose www.example.com and just click on next so it will you can register means you can press specify what uh, email validation or dns validation so uh, I, I would prefer the email validation uh, review and it will send the email to your registered email address once you got the email address yeah, you just need to click on the that uh, the activation link and whatever domain name you have given that is associated with you and you are the owner of that one and it will generate the certificate for your domain okay this is second step okay that's it and third and last step is that how to create a cloud front front distribution cloud front is nothing but the your static content or uh, whatever content is on s3 it will be distributed ac across all the uh, distributed network or cloud front okay and what is the use of that one it will speed up the process of accessing website or your, your s3 content so that's the main purpose okay so this process is a little bit uh, time consuming make sure uh, you sit, sit sit tight and do it properly so i already created one distributed uh, distribution so just we'll go through in, go, go through the distribution so so if you go here uh, you can select price classes like you can um, only us canada europe or us canada europe asia uh, i generally prefer uh, i will prefer use all age locations okay you can specify uh, the domain names okay in my case i have two domain names and as well as i added www dot and my domain name we created one certificate in last step so you can click here and you can find all the certificates here it will it will populate all the certificate here as soon as you will go here you can find all the cert certificate you have created you will find it in this tab okay if you if you don't have you can request one from here okay and uh, make sure you selected uh, the only client that support the server name indicates if you select other one it will charge six hundred dollars every month so make sure you select this one i don't know what is the use of this one but it should be something special uh, and and ever 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 forget this index.html so default route object means whenever somebody hits the url it will go to the index.html page whatever page you want to mention you can mention here here okay and that's it so this part is first part is done you can go in origin it will automatically create um, what is the means uh, if you go and edit it okay we'll go one by one. we'll create one cloud fund distribute so that you will get okay so you have to select your the original path okay so this is uh, s3 bucket name okay uh, you must have to select http to https so that um, your traffic will be routed to https okay uh, whatever 
HTTP methods you want to use, you can select those. So in my case, uh, we don't need too much. So we can go to head and get and head. Uh, with the caching, object caching, use original, you can use custom. If you you want your the website content is going to change frequently so you have to change the time detail time in my case i want to change for 60 seconds every 60 seconds if new request comes it will go and fetch the new content from the s3 okay it will not cache on the edge locations more than 60 seconds you can specify the times as per your convenient but while in development or initial phase you you make sure you keep the time as smaller okay and okay you can specify the alternate domain names in that my case is like uh, make dg brands dot info uh, you can select S uh, ssl certificate name So I already selected this one. Uh, that's it. Keep everything as default. Yeah, make sure you give the default root name as index dot HTML or whatever name you have you want to pass the first request and create. Okay. To create a distribution, it will take uh, around uh, 15 to 30 minutes so wait till that time once that your cloud cloud front is enabled it will state status will be deployed and state is enabled then that means your cloud front distribution is ready now now we have finished three steps first one is domain registration second part is host zone okay create host zones and third part is creating cloud front so these three steps we have completed now last step is you have to create these two records so one one is a c name record and another is alias record so in c name record uh, you can give uh, www dot your domain name and so you ca you can copy paste the name from uh, let me WS so that way you can you guys can correlate from here manage console okay so this is the domain name created by cloud front for by cloud front so you have to copy this name and paste it here okay select CNAME CNAME and save the record and another part is you have to create a alias record for that uh, cloud front distributed name distribution name so copy the same name here say select uh, s here as alias and create select the type as a record and save the record that's it once this one is done you can transfer your all traffic with https so we'll so now if we go here and we'll try try to write here okay so see the traffic is automatically wait let me clear the browser cache it may cause the problem okay so we'll deploy. 
okay so this is my the page and it is secure okay it automatically converts the HTTP request to HTTPS and and it loads the contents okay so that's it for from this video so thanks for watching you guys if you have any questions or comments or if you need any help put a comments down down here thanks for watching this video